Hello everybody and welcome to my video on how to deal with that annoying part where it says you've got no space for housing. Um, I've built this little area you can see on the screen and it's going to help us explain all of our top tips and stuff. So these are just my top tips. Obviously if you guys have found anything that I haven't covered in this video then just pop a comment down below. Tip one is a really quick and easy one. It's just promoting villagers. So what I found was that the villagers started to lack space for housing when I promoted them too quickly. So on this map, literally all I'd done was just not promote them until I had other bits and bobs in place. And those bits and bobs we're gonna go through also in this video. Tip two is workplaces. So as you can see here, um, the housing is gathered really closely to people's place of work. Yes, some of them absolutely will have a negative effect on the area, which I'll go over later in the sort of bit where I put it all into practice for you. But as you can see, this person works super close to where they work. And I did read on a Steam forum somewhere that when people do get promoted, um, they have the capacity to kick other people out of their house if there's a house they desire closer to their place of work. Tip 3 is land value and this one is quite important so after you promote those villages they require a certain level of land value before they'll actually make their houses. So you see I've literally just grabbed a random bit of land pop some decorative bushes and decorative trees on and it's taking it from low to average. Now other places can also help with this. So it's not just decorative items. So if I have a little scroll around into my main hub over here, as you can see, um, the area around your things like your cathedrals, churches will raise it. Also, we've got a lot of decorations in here. So even things like little signs, more trees, and of course the almighty sheep statue um, drastically raises your land value. Villagers needs, now this becomes again more complicated the higher you promote your villagers. So this can be something as simple as where they work, where they live, how far they've got to travel. But, so this is one of my citizens so you can see they have luxurious goods, they have clothes which you've got to deal with. Um, religion, food, drink, and all that type of stuff. Now this is my little hub which I'm sort of working out, tailoring and clothing and stuff like that. But as you can see, we've got pretty much everything all isolated in this little hub. And I'll be building one of these later for as a demo. Um, but we've got land value, we've got religion, we've got food, we've got water. So the villagers can get everywhere they need to go in one working day and they don't have to travel halfway across the map to get a drink or to buy food or to buy goods. It's kind of that simple really. Now it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is um, and I've chosen this part of the map. Now this village I've made, I've literally made just to make loads of money so I'll just buy bits of the map and try stuff out for you guys. Um, so first things first, I'm going to put down some basic jobs because there ain't no jobs, no one's going to live there. And I've chosen this because it has got trees, it's got berries, it's got stone. So it should be a good representation of early game. Obviously I'm aware that, you know, well, there's that negative circle we're talking about. So the sort of red circle, try to build that away from where you want to build your residential zones. By the way, go back to my original point, lost on the tangent there. Um, I realize when I'm building this, they will do density levels up and general levels up because, you know, I have got surf citizens and commoners all in this place, but it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a way just for you guys to see how I set up my hubs. So we're going through all the basics. So wood, stone, and also when I'm building my hubs, I also like to make sure that there is warehouse storage close to that hub. So food storage, and material storage. So we're just gonna pop all the basics down just so you can see how I set stuff up. But as you can see, the food storage one 
it doesn't have a negative effect radius so we can sort of really put that a little bit closer to where I want my residential zones and now we're just going to paint our extraction points I like to try to keep my extraction points as neat as possible um, it's probably just me because I'm colorblind so if there's a lot of overlaps of different colors I kind of get lost and like is this extraction is this residential it all goes a little bit wrong so I'm going to dig out a little bit of wood around this area obviously stone and berries because you need food and drink and where I'm painting the extraction zone at the moment is probably where I'm going to be putting my very central zone actually the land value is low at the moment but you know we will deal with that a little bit later so don't worry putting it way outside of the negative effects of basically the, the sawmill and the bits that have the radius on there but I see it's still not like a hundred miles away and now we're going to focus on a couple of different bits so again so the villagers that live in this area can actually get fed without having to run halfway through the map any of these little hubs I always build somewhere to for them to eat and as usual because it's foundation Gonna put some decorations down and this is pretty much my my standard market build if i've got to be honest some veggies barrels a little food sign or a good sign and because i've got cloth now also uh, a little shroud on top of it so this is stage one of my little hub so you should be able to do this at regards whatever tech level uh, so if you're starting out this is how i'd lay out my village and what we'll do is we'll give this a little bit of time to get built and i'll bring you back a little bit later in the stage now there we go so stage one they've built a couple of gathering hearts we've put some employees and designated what stuff i want in the storage so in the goods stone planks wood in the other one we'll put the berries and the food in the market trader for food and actually we've already got a building with six employees in well, i say employees villagers you know it's all the same thing at this sort of stage so we're already getting a little bit of life into there and the next stage we're going to have a little look at now because as you can see the market has increased the va land value a little bit around there we're going to now take that to the next level with some decorations so to get some decorative trees um, obviously holding shift while you're clicking just to make sure you can build more than one because it's annoying when building decorations if you don't hold shift because you've got to keep going back clicking get one tree click back get another one tree click back get another tree I'd like to see my um, amazing tree planting skills literally put it in a line whoops that's right put it in another line um, now we we'll go a little bit over the top um, and put a sheep statue in here as well because that has a massive effect on land value because well why wouldn't it it's it's a sheep statue it's pretty darn awesome and I want to go a bit extreme as well and put a um fountain in there um, don't necessarily expect every hub to have a 500 gold fountain in it but it's just for demonstration purposes because it's a really good way to eke up the land value massively quickly so as you can see we've gone from low to to very high in some places in a relatively short amount of time and again you can always just put in more bushes more trees road posts flower arches and all that now this is the promotion side of things so on your first one on your serifs that actually if i remember correctly and if my brain um, does work on this point enables them to actually physically build a house commoner lets them upgrade the house and so on and so on to things like citizen but as you can see without me really doing much we've kind of already got a lot of level two housing going down on here and that's basically people coming over to this point because it's close to where they work. Now, I'm going to go and promote people because I've got 
quite a decent amount of stuff um, and also because I want to try to get these houses upgrade to level 2 I'm also promoting people so they actually do that point um, just trying to see if I can find some individuals that actually work here to promote them ah, we'll just click promote all anyway, right onwards and upwards and here we are so we've dealt with 90% of the stuff we've got dealt with and as you can see houses are upgrading left right and center even though I can't seem to get this one in the middle to upgrade um, but as we've had a little look they now need religion so it's time to deal with the rest of the basic needs because if you think we've only got food up here we don't have any luxury goods we don't have a well we don't have a church so all of what you see here is just done by the, the pure basics. So, yep, we've got a lot of a lot of people that need religion, food, clothing, luxury goods, but a lot of that be from other places. So anyway, let's get a well on the go. As I say, all's well that ends well. I had to, uh, let's see where this will be best place so it covers a much residential zone um, I find Wales a little bit confusing because even though it has that influence zone around it people travel quite a long way to get water from it so it might just be that increases the land value within that circle but we shall see it looks nice there it's a little trees and now we'll deal with the other basic need of religion um, and this is just going to be a, a, a super quick little church build. So nothing like the massive churches or monasteries or anything like that. And again, I'm just trying to tuck it up as close to the housing so the influence spreads north ways, I suppose, if you see it, but up to the top of the map a little bit more. And just raise it up a little bit just so it doesn't look completely stupid. And we'll put a little bit of effort. Spire on the go. That's, yeah, it's a nice height. Pop a door on it. And cross because it's church. And just a little bit of decoration. Because again, it wouldn't be foundation if you don't. Yeah, so that looks good. So we'll start construction on that. And let me have a little think. So we've got most of the other bits and bobs. Now all we need to do is deal with the one last need of the more advanced citizens, or should I say commoners, and we'll get some basic goods on the go. So again, this one will look pretty much like my food stall, just with basic goods, because, well, I, I have a way of making them, and that's the way we're gonna do. So I'm trying to leave a decent amount of space in between the houses so they've got room to build another house I don't know really exactly how much space people need to build a house in but since there's a house already being built here I can intrude within that space a little bit and hopefully there's enough space between that one and the house on the left just putting down the basics like I say it's, it's not a ingenious build it's just a standard market saw and we're going to choose a different colour thing from the top just so I know which one's basic goods and which one's food and yeah that's that should be everything we need to do so obviously I want to give these time these guys a little bit of time to build and, and yep there we go so land values updated quite a lot turn a little scout round so I'm happy with that so people have got decent land values they've got somewhere to work I've got a decent amount of employees around here We've got storage for the things next to it so they can build quickly and hold stuff quick, more quickly. And yeah, look at them go. So I'll bring you back when everything's all built. And here we have it. So everything's all built. Um, we've got a beautiful little hamlet here. At, and actually, I really quite like it. I think, it's a, I think it's a nice little place to live. Now, obviously, these have been my top tips for trying to get rid of the whole citizens have no place to live. Um, 
whatever your top tips are, pop them in the comments below. Let us know if any of this helps you at all. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future, because in future videos we are going to go over things like supply chains, how many farms you need to deal with one bakery, one windmill, and all that type of thing as well. So I'm checking a couple of other bits and bobs. Yeah, our land value is really, really impressive. Um, like I said, I know we kind of cheat a little bit and put the the fountain and the sheep there, but I think this place looks looks pretty awesome. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. You're all YouTube veterans by now, so feel free to like, subscribe, share as you guys see fit. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye now.